and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Shen Lux. Let's go ahead and play one of these decks again. We haven't been playing too much Ionia these days, but I do like Will of Ionia against all these Nautilus decks. And this deck's just going to be really powerful, especially the top end. We have we're going to be caring care caring about um, <laughs> barriers, caring and barrier. That's kind of hard to say back to back, but anyway. Um, so we're going to be doing our barrier stuff, and of course Lux enters with a barrier, so that's going to help Shen level up. And then of course with our barrier stuff, we're going to have Stand Uniteds up here as well, a couple of Repost, a couple of Prismatic Barrier, and then one Bright Steel Formation at the top end because this is a slower format. So we're going to probably be able to play some longer games with Bright Steel Formation, hopefully being able to take over. Other powerful stuff, we have Unyielding Spirit to go along with Lux. Um, River Shaper is awesome with all of this barrier stuff. It's a great card to um, support with Shen. If we have Shen supporting River Shaper, it will be striking, drawing a spell for us. Um, and of course, our deck is filled with really powerful spells, so that's very good. Mage Seeker Persuader, another great one. If we play a six cost spell, such as um, Remembrance or Stand United to help enable this, it'd be a 4 3 challenger. And then we can have that with. Um, you know, with our barrier support that was shed. That's a really nice two mana card. Trying out one jewel protector in here. This is a card that I think is just pretty awesome. You get seven, seven worth of stats for five mana across two bodies. You can put this on either of our champions and make them really good. You know, like Lux being just starting as a seven, eight or Shen starting as a six, eight, either one of those um, pretty awesome, especially if you can do that. And then Unyielding Spirit, it, um, you can put it on Radiant Guardian, make Radiant Guardian an eight, eight, make that even better or even just like some of the cheaper stuff like putting it on river shaper or making river shaper a five five is pretty awesome or the mage seeker persuader make this um you know and would it be a seven six challenger for two mana a two mana seven six challenger nothing wrong with that either i wonder if we need to just play more jewel protector in general i don't know we're gonna definitely put one in here though i'm taking out the third rating guardian for a jewel protector all right, so let's let's give this a try. We're gonna play some Shen Lux over in ranked. We'll play uh, five games over there. As y'all know, that's what we always do: five games in ranked, and we'll test it out. Yeah, a lot of good stuff with this deck. A lot of good synergy. A lot of power. One problem with barriers, though, is frostbite. You know, Culling Strike. Culling Strike can get around to barriers very easily. Shen, I guess we mulligan Shen also. Shen dies to Culling Strike. Alright, so we'll have Remembrance on three. We don't have the attack token on four, so like if I want to curve River Shaper three, Shen four to protect, we don't have the attack token yet. So we'll probably just go uh, Remembrance on three. We're playing the Bright Steel Protectors, and so like those pair great with Mage Seeker Persuader at four mana together. The two mana three two that gives a barrier, like because sometimes you can just go Remembrance on turn three, and then turn four you can play Persuader, and then Bright Steel Protector give it a barrier. Those two can really work together. It's such a great combo. It really is. Faster than my arrow? I think not. I am one with the land. Swiftly now. This doesn't. Doesn't kill the 6-4. So I can barrier the caretaker, give it plus two, plus zero, block the three one. Mm. 
Or I wait till next turn and I can have Prismatic Barrier to protect Mage Seeker Persuader as far as challenging Ash goes. Changes, but never breaks. I'm gonna try that, I guess. Mages can't hide from me. Radiant Guardian's not really that good in this matchup because of Frostbite. Quite vulnerable to Frostbite. I see all. You can't outrun justice. Pretty good. Strike, we will reform. My life for these lands. Currents pull them down. Hmm. Stay back. Strike, we will reform. A gift from the river folk. I would have loved to have this that this turn. The eye of twilight sees all. mana. Kind of wish I had 10. I wish I could have you know, Lux with Deny. So that Ash is about to level up. I assume they're not blocking this. We're going to try to single combat here. Kill the 5-5. Five five. dead yet. We're pretty close to dead. But not yet. Carved from the savage cold. So Will of Ionia gives me four more mana left.
which I have to do right now. I can't wait on that one. For glory, you're mine. My arrow won't miss. You gotta believe me. What are you hiding? Insolent cur. Sorry, Shen, you were so close to leveling up. Remember me. So close. But we gotta do what we gotta do to stay alive. These old eyes still see far and clear. Yeah. Uh, just a second. My name's Ben Terry. Ah, ads. Alright, here we go. can we do? Because I don't think it's much at this point. Bow to no one. We have judgment. Could be scared of judgment. Probably not. Virtue guides me. Yeah, GG's. Losing is just an opportunity to shine even brighter. I had a very good hand with turn one open hawk. And then don't do anything turn two, but then turn three having the calling strike combo with the three one into calling strike for my five five tough. That was really rough. And then and then Ash on four. And then Babbling Bjerg on five, draw draw another big thing. That calling strike combo in particular was devastating. Do you think making Sejuani create caught in the cold in hand instead of summon effect would be a good nerf? I'm not sure. Honestly, Sejuani really should have one last point of, of health. It really should be a 5-5 and not a 5-6. Just with how everything lines up, it that is one thing that does make it too powerful. That that last point of health is is very unnecessary. Uh, I don't know, maybe I keep this. I already have things I'm going to be doing early. It's nice to have the champion at the top end. We're going to have our other draw steps for other things in the middle. Well, now we are going to be going Remembrance. There's nothing wrong with turn three Remembrance. You won't suffer long. No, I don't think Spooky Ash beats Sejuani. Ash. I I don't think anything beats Frostbite midrange. I don't. I honestly don't think anything does consistently. I think at best. Anything beats it like 50% at best. It's a coin flip. I don't think there's anything that beats Frostbite Midrange cons consistently. Okay, so this is this is pretty interesting with another Bright Seal Protector, so we can go. Could have Caretaker, Caretaker, Bright Steel Protector to pump these up. Now, will we have time for that? Oh, no. Hush now. Hold back the darkness. 
could just use... Mm, could use Prismatic Barrier now to block Elise. Maybe we have to do that. I don't really want to do that. I really don't. I want to get these other things going. It's only one additional point of damage that I'm taking, and if I don't just block the Spiderling, I'll just block the Spiderling. Next turn, we're looking at five. I save this spell mana. Get on in there, River Shaper. Ready the torches. River Shape the land. Light the signal fires. Boo. Boo. <clears throat> That's a good draw. So we want to. What else do we want to save? I'll stop you. I mean, I closer. Could Pull just block down. like this. I'll do that and not not just use my spells immediately. You know, like we're losing, we're losing the Bright Seal Protector, which doesn't really matter. We're losing these one health things, which you know they are one health things. <clears throat> but not playing, not playing the spells means that like they can't respond with like Fury of the North afterwards or something. Like we could wait for their Fury of the North and have exactly what we want um, afterwards. Cool. Hopefully no crocodiles. Deny is really nice. So I'm playing as Lux this turn. We'll have Deny that we just drew from River Shaper drawing a spell. That's a great spell to draw. Oh, I guess we gotta figure out how to deal with that thing. not die. Our Lux can block it. Right out. 
Eleven mana. Still gonna have deny man available. Shine with me. In case of atrocity. Pretty gross. tap under four mana because atrocity kills us okay so let's see so if I can't tap under four mana that means I have eight to spend so I could have like persuader is two protector two bannerman four so I could do those three What am I giving the barrier to? Not, and ready. Not that thing. I guess River Shaper. My shield is yours. Plus three, plus zero. So I can have Persuader do four. Not quite enough to kill that thing. Honor guide me. Stand in judgment. You can't outrun justice. So I think we're pretty rough defensive-wise with these low health units against two huge overwhelms with 10 overwhelm, 6 overwhelm. So we're going to make risky attacks instead. Leave no survivors. Pretty good block.
pretty good block. That's me going down to one. Which is not dead. But afterwards, if this happens, I go down to one, I keep my challenger, they keep their Callista, everything else is gone. And we draw a spell. Another Sejuani, of course, would have killed us. With Fury of the North, would have killed us. You know, lots, lots of things could have killed us. What form will the waters? All right, we draw two spells. Can see the Nevastian border from here. So the good thing about drawing all these spells is that means that we're more likely to draw units for our regular turn. I see all. Uh, let's see, eleven mana. Turn Remembrance into five. Basically thinking, do I want to play River Shaper first? And I think the answer is no. You have no alibi. Why, might, why would I not just use a repost though? To keep that thing alive. Should have done that. Nothing escapes my watch. Yeah, probably should have. I mean, the only thing is like Radiant Guardian. Like that's the reason to kill something is Radiant Guardian. Not rewarded. Swim within the flows of magic. And I wasn't dead to atrocity right there because of the single combat. Everyone's a god. If I know this is going to happen, I, I would like to Unyielding Spirit the River Shaper if I know they have no responses at all. But they could, you know, they could do so many different things. And so it's safer just to have Will of Ionia. 
available. Maybe they have Vengeance, and they cast a Vengeance on my River Shaper, and allow me to Unyielding Spirit it. Let's us draw another spell. No, do not draw three cards, please. Just put that back in your hand. Don't draw three cards. A gift from the river folk. My saplings. What form will the waters take? Waters are still. Dude, River Shaper has been pretty sweet. These old eyes still I'm drawing like a million cards from River Shaper. Mm. Out. How do I get? How do I get this thing to die <laughs> for us to play Radiant Guardian? Okay, so they probably found that Sejuani from the Babbling Bjerg. Yes. Okay, well now... I need another mana. I should've just played Radiant Guardian as a 5-5 last turn, I guess. Okay, so I guess I have to... All right, we have to bounce this right now. You gotta believe me. And then single combat. Whatever is not blocked. Okay, so I block here in single combat the other way, because then the barrier does the two damage. And then we then Lux takes one. down to eight. We attack with both. They have to block. Into battle with hearts aglow. So presumably they block the thing they kill. Dang, they actually play Vengeance? Will be served. Virtue 
The problem with going the Unyielding Spirit on the Lux is how do we keep them from doing one point of damage with the Sedgevani like the next turn? We probably don't. With this, we can keep them from doing one point of damage with Sejuani. Pain is nothing. The eye of twilight sees all. Stand and fight. So with that, they don't even do damage, but we can go stand united. The King Koo go. And now we gain five. Well really? These kings were unbalanced. After I did all of that work navigating that entire game to get us so we were ahead and we were about to win. <laughs> Did so much work. They just draw the one card that kills me. It's the only card that kills me. Like, Fury of the North doesn't kill me. It's the only thing. The only direct damage in Freljord and Shadow Owls combined is Atrocity. After already fighting through one Atrocity... I suppose they could have drawn a They Who Endure, which would have been like a 25-25, and then I would have died anyway, I suppose. This is a very good, you know, illusion deck like this. This is a very good Radiant Guardian deck. Not usually in the market for Mulligating Green Glade Caretaker, but this deck I think Remembrance would have been nice. Also, that's what I was going for. Smell that? A bite to cook it! Feel the sizzle! Lifesteal and Overwhelm happen at the same time. So no, Fury of the North would not have killed me. Nothing to worry about if you have nothing to hide. Flavor and spice. Root them out. Double warships. Looks like they got something cooking over there. We'll see what it is. Lady Elise, where are you? Playing Bright Steel Protector this turn. Nope, never mind. I must get out of here. Eat up, friend. Suspicious. I don't really want to just pass turn. He says as he clicks the pass turn button. All right, big Lux. Which maybe should be going with Big Radiant Guardian. It's hard to argue with Big Lux though. You don't need to. Show 
them what we're made of. Stay safe, my lady. Mages are everywhere. Oh, uh, don't you worry about me. Because I'm a 7 8. <laughs> that Sithria is like, what? Why is that card so big? Okay, let's see what we can do. Play Please Green Glade Caretaker. Their own. Get that in play before we start doing barrier stuff. Soldier to me. More is it three years? Okay, less barrier stuff, more. I need to force a Radiant Guardian. Maybe not. Intruders! Put an end to magic. I think my plan here is stand united. Level up Lux. Get the final spark. The block like that, they die. Alright, they block like this, they don't die. So I probably should have gone the I should have gone Bright Seal Protector first. Get another threat in there. But that's fine. I should have played that first, though. So I, I feel like we're going to be winning this game, but we'll just kind of have to see how it all plays Nothing out. So one Cythria is dead. Can bounce this Cythria. Can't fight on an empty stomach. Never back down from what you believe. I should have one of these things in front of the Cythria, I suppose. This will level up Lux. And if things go according to plan... Which they did not. Oh, the Concerted Strike didn't happen. That's right, because they sacrificed, so the Concerted Strike didn't happen, so it didn't, didn't level up Lux. 
That's right, my bad. If things would have happened with the Will of Ionia, we were, we were going to be able to play the Radiant Guardian. That was my plan. Justice will be served! Awesome, Demon Soul. Glad, yeah, glad these games are really entertaining. They're they have been quite long. You're like we're at almost 50 minutes into our three games. But yeah, these have been some very entertaining games. I agree that. And glad you're liking them. So Chronicler killing that thing. That's fun. Don't want to use Stand United to level up Lux, but I guess we're kind of there now. And I guess we're going to have to use Stand United now. Should have put the three one after. I should put the three one over here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I would have, if I would have just replaced. If I would have had the three one and the three two in the other spots, and if they would have blocked like this, I would have had lethal. So we're going to. I guess this is still lethal if they have nothing. Right, because the barrier, so they won't gain life from the Radiant Guardian. So if they have nothing, we're doing 13 damage because they, they don't gain life because the barrier, so they take 9, and then 4, so they take 13. Awesome. Never give up. Didn't miss lethal. I forgot about like the barrier. I forgot the barrier. They're not gaining life. <clears throat> All right, GGS. Stand United is just so cool. Get so many. Like surprise lethals with Stand United and Green Glade Caretaker and Shen. So many surprise lethals. Yeah. It is so satisfying to have Stand United shenanigans, isn't it? I agree. And facing another Ionia deck. You don't see Ionia around too much. Pretty rare. I'm gonna keep these. This looks pretty good of getting us a large unit on turn three and then we can support it on turn four or if we're a little behind because they got like their zeds and lucians and stuff then we can have single combat take down a zed and lucian i am very glad that they are they don't have the the attack token on turn three with zed My shield is yours. which i guess if they would play zed on turn three we would be able to play remembrance on turn three afterwards anyway so I guess it's not that big a deal. Without a sound. I'll stop you. Uh, 
It's not Splash that much. Ionia, that is. It used to be splashed a lot, but not really anymore. Okay, that, yeah. Good. The king could watch over Ionia. Watch all you want. My order will act. I sense an it. You can't outrun justice. All right. Hopefully this works. If not, we saw some good defense. Cool. It worked. Hopefully no more Zeds. Yay! Wow. That that turn went really well for us. Gotta be playing a bunch of Genevieve Elmhearts this now. Yep. I say if they had nothing previously, they gotta have something like that. Um. Uh, let's see. Let's see. So I don't get to level up Shen. I can't do three barriers this turn. I can only do two with Stand United. Um, but I don't get to Stand United in single combat or Persuader. I can go Persuader and Barrier and Single Combat together. Your place is still in the mortal world. Okay, no, never mind, not bad. Yeah, no, this is fine. Perfectly fine. I can't have both of my Persuaders die. Especially with these Stand United or the Shen, we need to be keeping one alive. Don't really want to trade with those things. It must be done. You have no alibi. All right, three out of four for Shen. We meet again. Uh, no, we're no. not the men we once were. The wood can't fight back. Okay, so Jewel Protector plus a Stand United is what I got. Which I have to play Jewel Protector now, because otherwise they can go straight to combat. They can still go straight to combat with everything. I have to hope they just challenge first. Like this. No, I took out. I did the opposite. I took out Radiant for Jewel Protector. Obviously, in this scenario, Jewel Protector doesn't look the best. Okay, I think it is what you click. Oh, man, we figured this out before. This is it's so weird. Okay, so if I want, if I want the plus on, so which one do I want to get the barrier second? I think I click on the thing I want first to get the barrier second. We walk between. I think. Yes. Okay, that's it. Yeah. So you click on the thing you want first to get the barrier second. Stand United's like backwards from everything else.
Yeah, that's been a, a tricky card to figure out. <laughs> Nine bright steel formation. Sure, why not? We'll just make some stuff big. I'll defend these boys to the end. I see all. You can't outrun justice. Do you think they blocked the eighteen nine? Ah, uh, they did. Darn. No. Oh, this could be bad. Good. Another blocker in case they have another. You know, in case they play another attacker, we get another blocker. Still alive, I see. Despite Beamer's best efforts. Honor dictates both our actions. Man, these games that we've played with this deck have been just crazy. <laughs> these have been some crazy games. Push back the darkness. Oh no. Well, GG's. Their pride will cost them. Oh my gosh, they messed it up again. It's twice if they would have just attacked out, they would have won. Um. We walk between realms. Shield up. That's twice. You know, I have all this man and I have like these cards, so they're probably a little scared of that. But yeah, if they would have just attacked out, they would have won. And now I have four blockers for four attackers. And the game's over. This judgment's just been chilling in my hand, not doing anything <laughs> in all these games. We've had some crazy, crazy close games on either side. For sure, these have been some crazy close games. Rockatone, hey, what's up? Man, we're at an hour in for the four games. That was a weird comment. Okay. So, Ash Sejuani. This is a tough matchup. This is our, our first one, the one that was a loss. I don't know if I'm supposed to keep the second remembrance. Or if I'm supposed to mulligan the second remembrance. That's what I was thinking about. Like, do we keep the second one? So obviously my my play is play this one to start with. Do we keep the second? I don't think I, I think y'all are too harsh on my previous opponent. I don't think it was just super obvious of just attack all out whenever he had like is basically stand united was like the only card that punished him for doing what he did and I just had stand united both like both times whenever they did stuff like that was 
that was the case, it was only Stand United. And so I don't think it was, I don't think it was nearly as bad as y'all are you're saying. Like, people don't really play around Stand United. Yeah, I, I agree. The, the first time made a little bit more sense. The second time should have gone for just attacking, but... That's how it go. They attack with both. My 4 4 is blocking the 3 3. If they just attack with the 4 4, I'll just go to 15. These woods protect their own. I'm through waiting. I don't think I want to have my 5-4 trade with their 4-4 and then I remember and... I'd rather, because they're going to have the 1 mana 5-5 now, I'd rather trade with the 5-5 than the 4-4. So fast. Show me a target. My life for these lands. <laughs> Just so fast. Gonna kill anything. Concerted strike. Line up. Frostbite mid range is pretty good. I don't know if I've said that before. Pretty good. Pretty good. If I play Lux next turn, we have 9 mana, and I really need 10. I really need Will of Ionia to cost 4 mana, not 5. I go, but I think that's better than playing Shen. Or this Remembrance. Oh, I mean, I guess I could have attacked with Lux. Probably just take it and go to 16, but I could have gotten four points of damage in. Think more about this defensive turn. Reckoning wouldn't have been that bad. It would have killed Lux and River Shaper and killed their Trapper, you know, like so it would have been a two for two trade. Few are in the right to call themselves Trifarian.
Yeah, they just had to draw three with the first assessor, then a draw four with the other one. Draw, they've just drawn seven cards with the two assessors. If it wasn't for those, they would have three cards left. Draw seven. Doesn't really beat draw seven. Currents pull them down. This is my choice. Lux is probably just the most important thing to Barrier, even though everything else dies, and Lux doesn't die, and yet I'm still bar barriering, Barrier? Yeah, still putting the Barrier on the, the one thing that's going to be staying alive. It's just got to be the most important thing. Lux against the world. the 4 damage to the 5-5 five five and have Silverwing Lancer kill the 5-5. Five five. Um, it's not a bad idea. Next turn we're at 9 mana. So what, Shen and Silverwing Lancer? They have 10 cards in hand. I don't expect them just to not play anything. We fight for one Freljord. I need to see a little bit of what they would want to play. Radiant Guardian is just not valuable against a deck that's filled with Frostbite cards. We know they have Caught in the Cold. It's not... It's just not valuable there. So they have nine cards right now. I could, I could like, bounce their 6-6 six, six and make it 10, so then their card that they draw gets burned. Probably gonna need that Will of Ionia later. Mm. 
They're out of mana, let's just kill their 6-6, six -six, create a final spark. Final spark. That thing. No more holding back. Need my for justice and all things bright. Wish I would have attacked him for four with the Lux the previous turn. I wish they were at 16. Four damage may end up making a difference. Pain is nothing. May end up making a pretty big difference. Pulling strike would be such a bummer. Yeah, calling strike would really be a bummer. If I go if I go for unyielding spirit, that is. I don't think I can unyielding spirit. I think my plan this turn is to play Lux and Shen. Yeah, they play three calling strike. Everywhere I go, the light follows. Which maybe I should just do that stuff pre-combat. I don't know, at least at least we did gain five life, that's nice. Victory requires a sharp blade. I should I should have just done this stuff pre combat. Um Yeah. I swim within the flows of magic. Alright, change of my mind, going with River Shaper instead to just block and draw spells because it kind of needs some some spells 
This leaves me with one, like the thing about Shen is that it tapped us out. This also leaves us with one mana where if I go Bright Steel Formation next turn, then I still have enough for single combat where Shen doesn't give me that opportunity. be pretty amazing if we can stabilize after they drew the seven cards with the assessors we're trying trying our best over here I probably could have played that last turn better from the savage cold. probably Um, I think they've only played one. Yeah, I, th I think they've only played one Culling Strike. attacks, eh? Huh. The fate of I still need one more mana for Will of Ionia plus deny. a little strange they were just like nah don't need to attack Line up. We're down to 11 cards it must be done our wills align So they've drawn three, then drawn four, then drawn six with Assessors, but one got burned, so really five. So they've drawn three, four, and five as extra cards with Assessor. Yeah, they could have just passed to do the perfect Assessor. Maybe that was like a, maybe they have like a scavenger hunt goal. That was like on their cheat sheet of things to do. Yes, I think this is I think this is the card that needs to change in the Frostbite midrange deck. I think this should just be when I'm summoned, draw one card if you have a an ally with five plus power. I think it, need, it should be capped at one. You just draw a card. It's a four, you know. So if you have a, a five plus power thing, it's a four mana four three draw card, which is a a good card. I do think it needs to be capped like that. Which one of these would I want to Unyielding Spirit if we want to just Unyielding Spirit one? I guess it would be the Shen that's four power because it dies to Reckoning or the rest don't die to Reckoning. Um, it could just be the Radiant Guardian that has the life steal and everything. I can go with the Shen. Can't get reckoning. 
More Shens will be Stand United, which is a, a great, great card with leveled up Shen. No, I don't think Spell Shield will negate Reckoning. Because it doesn't target anything, so no, I don't think it would. Oh, they said it does work like that? It works for Ruination and Reckoning? Yeah, then I guess it would. I guess it would then. I guess we don't want this leveled up Sejuani in play. That frostbites all our stuff. So this Radiant Guardian is going to die anyway, so we're going to, I'm going to try to fight this Glory Seeker so the Glory Seeker doesn't do 7 damage to the Bright Seal Protector. Any way they don't block one of these two? Nope. They didn't block either one. They were dead. They walked around. Eyes blazing, brightest torches. Shocked that worked. Gotcha. How have we not died yet? Is a realistic question. The winter's claw endures. You own what you take. These woods protect their Keeper, our lands need us. That card works pretty good with, like, that's a good card to draw in this scenario. Not killing anything. Oh, 
Oh, it's gonna kill this thing because it's gonna go zero power. Oh no! Shouldn't have done that. Hmm. Yep, I, I need to do the Shen. Well, the thing is, I need to pre protect both... I thought I was going to protect both of them with barriers. Um, if I would target the Shen with the Stand United, then, you know, I'm just... Then I, like, can't block with the other thing unless I want it just to die. Ugh. Why does Sejuani also have to do that? Why does it have to do everything? They don't block one of these. The Dang, stop blocking. I think my opponent's just trying to make this game as long as possible. Uh, no, I don't. I don't plan on doing that dark cliff. Now, I mean, I, I will like later on, but not just a, a video for just the four cards now. Finally decided to win. <laughs> They've had to win forever. I did all I could. Yeah, I'll be doing a complete set review. Yep. Where I'll talk about whenever we know all the cards. Where I'll talk about all all the regions and the, the new one and everything like that. We'll you know. So then we'll have some more ideas of like things to talk about because we'll have all of them. So we'll be able to talk about them together and everything. Okay, so there we go. So that's uh, Shen Lux. We played some just ridiculously crazy games in these. The Frostbite mid-range matchup is just that's that's the one where you're just going to be behind. Like I've said many times, I don't, I really don't think anything's favored against Frostbite mid-range. I think that um, people kind of fool themselves thinking that some, some things are good against it, but um, I don't, I really don't think anything is. But our deck in particular is definitely going to be weak to that. Weak to Culling Strike, Reckoning, weak to just Frostbite. That's a good card against Barrier is just using Frostbite. So besides those two, um, the games that we played were, were really interesting, though. And um, the other the other three games that we played, we went 2-1, and, and and they were some crazy games. One of them we won but could have very easily lost, and the one that we lost we could have very easily won. Um, really just... Pretty awesome games throughout the five. Can't complain about that. It was an hour and a half playing those five games. Uh, and our deck, River Shaper, looked really good. You just... Unfortunately, there's just no reason to play Shadow Assassin anymore. It's just... It's honestly too weak of a card. It shouldn't... It really shouldn't be in any deck, in my opinion. One one power is just... It, it's just really not worth it. <laughs> unfortunately, it's just too much mana for what you get. So we have to find a replacement, and I think River Shaper is the best replacement, especially for this deck with all the barriers, and I have to say that I was very happy with the River Shaper. Unyielding Spirit, we didn't really do anything with. It was like a lot of times we kind of wanted like Judgment instead of um, Unyielding Spirit. Kind of surprising how little we did with Unyielding Spirit. The Bright Steel Formation was great. I have to give it up for that card. Jewel Protector, not so much. Definitely very excited for Jewel Protector, but didn't do as much as I was hoping for. It did help us 
quite a bit in that. I guess it did one of the games. It really helped us quite a bit against the Demacia deck of making Lux a 7-8 right away so that their 6-6 six, six, Cythria couldn't get through. So, I, so the Jewel Protector did help us win that game. Um, yeah, they drew they drew 13 cards off Assessor, but they couldn't have one of the cards, and so it was 12 extra cards. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty silly. All right, but that's our deck. That's Shen Lux. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave those comments about the deck. Always love seeing those as well. Thank you so much for watching, though, and I'll see you for the next video.